Meantime, patience is being tested at Maui's airport as thousands of people, mostly tourists, scramble for flights off the island. Steve Patterson is there for us tonight. Tonight, thousands of passengers are just trying to get home. People are getting delayed. People are getting canceled. Um, baggage claims is, is a mess. It's, it's all over the place. Many still stranded in Maui's Kahului Airport, processing the devastation they managed to escape. It's just scary to see a big wildfire just kind of coming your way, and it's not something I ever experienced before. We jumped out of the car and ran as fast as we could and got out. Amy Springsteen is headed home to Oregon. She says this is what's left of her Maui rental car. She, along with some others in her party, were going to dinner when she says flames leapt onto the street. There was debris everywhere, fire falling down on top of us, but we got out safe. So far, more than 20,000 passengers have fled the island since the fires began. Thousands are still waiting. I think everybody feels safe that they've gotten here to the airport and there's food because there was no food on the island. A lot of the seats are full, a lot of people standing around just waiting for their flights. Tonight, many travelers will still call the airport home. As airlines scramble to add extra flights to get them out. American Airlines even upgraded a plane headed to Los Angeles with extra seats. On Southwest and Hawaiian Airlines, websites showing available flights from Maui to Honolulu for $19. And United Airlines saying they've canceled all inbound flights to Kahului Airport so empty planes can be used to get passengers back to the mainland. And Steve Patterson joining me now from the airport there. Steve, what is the mood there this evening? Lester, I can tell you it is a mix of people who just want to escape this travel chaos and others, mainly locals, who are reflecting on a place that have stood here for generations. There is a woman to my right. She doesn't want to be on camera, but she's been sleeping in this TSA courtyard for the past two nights. So by the time people make it to this TSA line, they're just happy to be getting off this island. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.